Hey guys, before this video starts, I just want to say thank you for your patience. I know it's been a long time since any activity has been seen on my channel. Um, uh, this time of year is very busy between school and the holidays, but uh, I am now getting back into it and there will be videos. Um, about a month ago, we did shoot Crazy Larry's. We did another Crazy Larry's and I've been working on that. I'm putting a lot of time into it. So um, hopefully uh, the wait will pay off. But uh, anyways, I just want to say thank you again for being patient and here's the video. Hey, hello everybody out there. Uh, I want to wish you a happy holidays from everybody here at Neff Throws. Um, hope you had a good uh, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all of that. Um, yeah, we're out here throwing. It's the day after Christmas and uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna throw some hammer because it's been a while and uh, it just needs to be done. So uh, we're back in full swing. Here we go. Well, we're out here and it's looking as gorgeous as ever. Ah, uh, how I missed it. Well, time to get ready. All right, so I think we got stuff set up here. Got my uh, my tripod here. I'm gonna do some recording, uh, obviously, if you're seeing this. But uh, yeah, boots there, hammer there, uh, and wide open sectors. So without further ado, let's get to it. spot ah, that good enough that's gonna have to be good enough I'm done f with it first time I actually released the hammer since like October Whoa. yeah about 40 holy f You can definitely tell I haven't thrown it all. Parsed it. Hey guys, what's up? I figured I'd take a break from throwing to share with you uh, an urban legend of this throws area. It turns out back in the late 80s, early 90s, there was a serial killer here that uh, that hit out in these woods by our by our throws cage. And the legend goes that he was so comfortable at killing serially that he decided to take up take up living arrangements out here. To add to his serial killing, there was a bunch of thefts. He stole a bed so we could sleep out here and and other things like that. But the, the scariest thing is he went into some old lady's house, the legend goes, and stole her toilet. Now, we don't know how he did it, but he she hadn't she didn't hear him, she had no idea. But the legend goes that when they found him they, they took all of his property, his bed, his dresser, everything. But the one thing they could not find out in these woods was that toilet. So the legend goes that if you're walking through these woods late at night and there was nobody else around, you could sometimes have the ghost of a haunted toilet and shit like that. Oh my God. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's the haunted shitter. Let's get out of here. Oh, shit. oh no. Oh shit, I lost my boots. 
<laughs> well, that looks good enough to me. Let's hit it. I don't know how that didn't hit the cage. That's way f***ing right. Oh, today is not a good That went about 10 feet off the ground, line drive to about 40 uh, meters, so. God, I'm sick of this shit. Here, hey, Neff throws pro tip. Don't stop throwing a hammer for two months. You might look a little more competent than I do right now. All right, last throw, best throw. Good, but that's probably the best one. Well, I don't know what I expected. I haven't thrown hammer in damn near two months, so I knew it was going to be rough. I just, I'm not turning my foot and I'm not getting over my my right leg on my entry, which just caused my parabola to do whatever. And overall, just not good, but uh, I think if I keep up with it over break, I'll start looking better. Uh, average, you know, 45, 46 meters. Not the best, but hey, it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go in and warm up, probably lift. So, we'll, uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, happy holidays again, and uh, deuces.